So in this lecture, we'll talk about the idea of a complement graph. So what is a complement graph? So the idea of a complement graph is if we have a graph G, the complement of graph G is graph P such that two vertices that were not adjacent in G are adjacent in P. So before I explain what this means, we have to define what adjacent means. So what is adjacent? Well, adjacent in graph theory basically means that if we have two vertices that are adjacent, that means they are connected. So we have A and B, these two vertices. If they are adjacent, they mean they are connected. So when we say the complement of a graph G is graph P such that two vertices that were not adjacent in G are adjacent in P. So if we have a graph and the vertices are connected or adjacent in a certain way, if we have the same graph, meaning we have the same vertices, however the vertices are not adjacent in the same way that the previous graph were adjacent, then that is the complement of that particular graph. So let me give you an example. So let's suppose we have this graph, we have A, B, C, D, E. These are the knots or these are the vertices that we have. And as you can see, the vertices are connected or they are adjacent in a particular way. A is connected to B, B is connected to C, C connected to D, and D is connected to E, and lastly E is connected to A. This is the way that these vertices are connected. However, do we have another way that we can connect these vertices together such that two vertices that are connected or adjacent in this graph are not adjacent in the graph that we want to create well yes and keep in mind that the graph that you are creating have to have the same amount of vertices that we have right here so it has to have five vertices well yes we can connect them in this way we can connect a to c and a to d since here a is not connected to c and is not connected to d therefore the adjacency of a c and a d is different than a c and a d in this particular graph and the same goes for b and e b and d E, C, E, B, and D, A, D, B. The arrangement of the edges or the adjacency of the vertices are different in this graph than this graph. However, the vertices are the same. We have E, A, B, C, D. We have E, A, B, C, D. Since we have the same vertices and different adjacencies, therefore, this is the complement of this graph and this is the complement of this graph. We have complement in different parts of mathematics, especially in set theory. The complement of a set is everything that is not in that particular set. In graph theory the complement of a particular graph is a graph with the same vertices however with different adjacencies this is the complement of a graph which is basically if we have a graph G the complement of graph G is graph B such that two vertices that were not adjacent in G are adjacent in P and we mentioned that adjacent basically means two vertices that are connected by an edge we'll end the lecture with something that is called self complementary graphs so what is this well self complementary graphs are graphs that are isomorphic to their complement graphs. We talked about graph isomorphism in the previous lecture. So self-complementary graphs are those graphs that are isomorphic to their complementary graph. So what does this mean? Well, let me give you an example. This graph that we have, we have four vertices and three edges. So this is connected to that, this is connected to that, and this is connected to that. So a self-complementary graph is a graph that is isomorphic to its complement. We can create a graph that is the complement of this graph and is isomorphic to itself. So what is this graph? Well, if we have a graph like this, so as you can see, these red lines that are connected or these dashed lines, this graph that we have that are connected by the dashed lines is isomorphic to this white graph. However, they are the same. So this graph is self-complementary because the complement of this graph is isomorphic to the graph itself. And that's basically the idea of self-complementary graphs. They are graphs that are isomorphic to their complement graphs. And with this, we come to the end of this lecture.